Hi, in this video, I'm going to cover the latest updates in Proof Member. So let's get started with that. The first update that we have done here is with the cloning feature. What used to happen earlier is when you tried to clone something, the screen was stagnant. There was no loader. So right now, what we have done is if you try to clone anything, there will be a loader like this. And then it will get cloned. So this is just to improve the user experience of the cloning feature. The second feature is on template 2, which is again to improve the user experience. We have added a loader when you are trying to upload an image or a video. So let's try with an image. Let's try with this image. So there is a loader that will appear before the image shows up. Let me try to add a video. So you see that loader that shows up. So that is what we have added for the second template. The next update is for the progress bar settings. When you add progress bar, you will have this section in the end where you can mark a lesson as complete and you can go to the previous or the next lesson. Here in this section, this featured image was not showing up. We have fixed that. The other update is we have removed the hover effect. When we used to hover on the tile, there used to be a blue background with white text. We have removed that currently. The next update is a new feature that we have added to rearrange the course section on the home page of your membership site. So once you land on your home page customizing of your membership website, you will see these courses. Okay, so this is the logged in view where uh, your students will see the courses that they have access to and the other courses that are there on your membership. And this is the logged out view where if someone lands on your website, they will see all the different courses that you provide in your membership. So earlier, we could not rearrange the sequence of this. Now, if you want to design your membership site in such a way so that you first want to you know add a welcome message to your membership site then you might want to add a section on top of these courses right so we have added that new feature and that feature is accessible only on the home page so when you go to the home page you can go to pages home and then you can go to edit and here you see there is this function section sequence which says courses on top if by default always courses on top will be selected which will show these courses before any other content on your home page however if you select content on top and then save this then your content will be sh shown before the courses okay so let's save this and let's visit the url of this membership As you can see here, the content section comes before the courses section. Okay, so this is the new feature that we have added. The next update is a bug fix for the Vimeo videos. So let's try to add a video. Let's do it from a content section and with the embed code. So I'm adding a Vimeo video embed code and the video appears fine here on the desktop version on the tablet version and on the mobile version we were getting a horizontal scroll for the video we have fixed that now so that's the bug fix that we have done for the vimeo videos that we use in our membership the next update is regarding the breadcrumbs that you find here on your lessons when you use these breadcrumbs you can navigate through the membership through the different parts of the membership so these navigations are known as breadcrumbs now we have improved this corrected this for the tablet and mobile devices okay for mobile device you now see the breadcrumbs will break down and it will come in three lines instead of these breadcrumbs going out of the screen so before this fix the breadcrumbs would 
stick in one line and they will go beyond the screen so it was really difficult for a mobile user to access these breadcrumbs now we have corrected that let's have a look at it at the actual website so this is a membership website and we can see the breadcrumbs here now let's have a look at the mobile view so in the mobile view the breadcrumbs are neatly separated into three different lines so this is the uh, fix that we have done we have improved the membership screen uh, we have added a filter here by default the memberships will be sorted with the last updated but you can also sort the memberships with first updated and uh, you know various other filters these are the common filters that are used throughout the group app okay so we have added that filter we have added a search bar so you can search for your membership by typing in some text and this has been made consistent with the courses page so earlier the membership and the courses page were not consistent now we have improved that apart from this we have also added some improvements to the buttons so when we used to use these options you see the buttons change with the relevant action so for website url the button suggests to copy the url so you need to copy the url and then you can open this in a separate tab okay and for the login also you can copy the url and it will open the login page for you okay i did not copy the url let me copy it So earlier, these buttons didn't use to change with the type of action that it wants the user to do. So earlier, this button was proceed for every option. Now this button's text changes based on the action that you are supposed to take. For example, so login URL, we can copy. If we select login and as admin, the button text changes to proceed which means that you just click this button and then it will automatically open the tab and log you in as an admin okay for login as member it also says proceed okay and then we have also added smart search for the members here if you want to log in as a member you can just type in the member's name and that member's email will show up here so these are the latest updates that we have for you guys. Thank you.